Hey guys, what is going on? We are uh, we're heading off tonight. Um, I'm sorry, I don't, we don't know how to work these dash light or the overhead lights in this pickup because we can't figure out what button it is. As we're borrowing my uncle's truck, but so big shout out to him. Thank you. You know who you are, Bobby. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, don't know what, where, what we'd do without you, but and, and Lucinda. Thank you, Lucinda. Westy. Uh, um, we we're headed out tonight. We just left. Uh, we just left home. Mom and, dad and the boys was kind of sad. We, could, we wish you could have brung them, but um, anyways, so we're headed out tonight. Just left the house. We're probably about an hour in or so, um, or 45 minutes in. About 45 minutes in. We got the truck completely loaded down. Cargo carrier back there loaded down. Three or four coolers and our bows, guns, every, everything we can haul. Anyway, we're headed down here. It's going to take us about 16 hours to get to where we're going. Um, so uh, it's going to take us a little while. We're going to be driving all night. Um, it's Right now it is about, uh, about 9 o'clock. Uh, we should be down there tomorrow evening probably, hopefully. Depends on if everything goes good. We got Dad over here. Say hi, Dad. Hello. We're going to try to go down there and kill us a big old bull elk, hopefully. The Lord's willing. Keeps us safe. Little bull elk. As long as it's got four points on one side, it's good for us. But this is our first first adventure. Now, keep going straight. 11 miles. How many miles? Okay, guys. We just got to our first uh, pit stop. Um, we... Uh, well, we, we, we drove through so much storm tonight, it's completely rained and thundered, so, um, but we're getting some gas here tonight. Um, we got a, got all of our stuff here. It's pretty good still, as far as all that goes. Uh, we're gonna, oh, <laughs> Dad, Dad's real, Dad's real tired. Um, we're pretty tired, but we're gonna, I don't know what we're gonna do, but we had to get gas because we running low, so we got to fill our tanks up for our generator and then we got to fill up our so it's been pretty interesting so far we only got we got like 13 hours left so uh, we got a long ways to go but there's been a lot of storms here tonight it's like probably the worst night to do all the storms and stuff but anyway so all right
that heel side over to that mountain side. Get that mountain side over there. Yeah. <laughs> You getting it? <laughs> oh, didn't you? <laughs> no, no problem. Dad, seriously, stop. Back down. This truck time. Mm -hmm. Well, this is where we're going to be staying for a few days. This is the cabin. It's a funny. Really neat place. Actually, hunt himself right there. Are you doing that? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's where we're going to be staying. That's good, right there. Did you know my tactic? Tactic can. No, I don't know. I'm not sure, pal. Anyway, this is kind of the cabin. We got some solar lighting. That was an addition. Now, we do have a slight road problem. Okay, so so we do we we we're, we're on film here, so we're on look, film. Yeah, yeah, we have a slight rodent problem. We don't worry about that. Uh, well, <laughs> a mouse or two is not uncommon. Yeah, no, okay, not even our house. Yeah, uh, there, there's a good chance they won't live if we do see them and get the chance. All right, well, that's awesome. that's the way we do it. So, so, yeah. so. Yeah. this yeah. is the boss. Uh, wait a minute, hold on. A second. That's the boss <laughs> right there. You got that right. Yeah. There's the boss. Her name's Bonnie, and this here is Dennis. He is the uh, assistant boss. The ram camp chef yeah, and, and the ram the camp chef. There you go. Yeah. So, anyways, he's uh, he's actually cooking some ribs. Um, Warming just, some ribs. Well, you know, yeah. That's my my dad my dad cooked these and and so we wrapped them up and this was Dennis's request. So we got them for him. We got them for him. What what do you have? Uh, oh wow. Over here. We got a watermelon going on here. A little watermelon. Apple bread. Fresh apple bread. Fresh apple bread. I mean, this is. We can get a fire place. Give, give me a few minutes and we'll light a fire. You can't beat it, you know. I mean, yeah, this is just like home. <laughs> no. several we came on a horseback right we came right through here and uh, 
Bonnie said she saw something really dark. Thought it looked big, as big as an elk. At the time, there were no cattle up here, so the next day we had a moose right behind the camper. And that's the one you got on the and wall. That's the one we got the pictures of off the wall with. It was a little little bull. Who's gonna be pretty good spot here? horse trailer. We used to sleep in the nose of a regular horse trailer. And all night a bull elk kept me awake whistling. Rifle season. And so got up in the morning. We had four young kids, not, not as young as you, but pretty fairly young. I said, you four youngins go kill that bull elk. And those three old farts are gonna go hunt someplace else. Which was a mistake, but that's okay. Those guys came up here and there was about 30 elk right down there in the bottom. And one guy went this way. Bonnie's oldest son went that way. Bonnie's youngest son and his future wife crawled along this ditch and up through here. And the other guy stood right here. And they could see the elk. And John spooked them and took a shot at the bull but never got, they didn't get an elk out. We just, we just heard a bull bugle down in the bottom.
decided it was a hunter instead of an elk. Nice little mountain stream here that we come up on. Oh, we got one. You little rascal. Hey. Calm down. Oh, boy. Little night, midnight pest. Oh. Hmm. zoom in on it. I know I'm not supposed to do this. I'm zooming in on it. See him laying up there on the, he's laying up there looking at us. Boy, what a fat one. Yo. I don't know. I'd say that'd be a log marmot. I think they call them rock marmots. He's looking at us again now. Anyways. Alright folks, here we go. Looking for elk. Not rock marmots.
been there for like 45 minutes. They're like, ever, forever. <sighs> and he hadn't been. I've done that. And there's this crack. There's this crack that big. And I had my pen on 30. I was like, I'm just going to aim low. And I did. And I just see it disappear into him. I'm pretty sure I got him. I saw him. I saw him. Dennis? Good blood on it. Dennis, you want to come look at this before we pick it up? That's good blood, ain't it? Yeah, Him, guys. He's laying there. You did? Yeah. I think so. You see him down? You see him laying there? Back here. I got my release on. Hang on, Dennis. I got my release on. I got my release on. Hold my bow. Just be safe. Hold on.
Oh man, Dad. Oh yes. I gotta give you a hug for that. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh yeah. Get down there with it. I am? Oh my Sir. goodness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh beautiful. Oh my goodness. Come over here, Dad, on this side. Over here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Get over here, Dad. Get over there and knock that stick out of the way. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Alright, <laughs> check it out. <laughs> yes, sir. What do you think, Tom? Oh, yeah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh. That's right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, beautiful animal. Oh, thank you, Dennis. Yes, sir. Appreciate oh. it. Oh, I appreciate it, Dennis. Oh, you had no idea. That... <laughs> Dennis done the calling. Oh. Oh. Dennis, did I put it in? Well, it was a little low, wasn't it? Yeah, sure. How you know? <laughs> hey, 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 I bet it hit the heart, didn't it? You know, <laughs> for shooting through logs, I think you done a fine job. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, there you go. Goodness. What is he? Uh, this you caught this horn? That's, that's a point. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Four and four. And he's legal for sure. Yeah. <sighs> All right. All beautiful. you need is four points or a six-inch brow tie. You got that on that one side there. Well, I have all that then, don't I? Yes, you wow, do. Wow, Tolliver. Huh. That's, that's a neat deal. Ain't that beautiful? Here you go, Dennis. Get your... Uh... Tell you what, you get over there with You the... get over there with your with your son. Good. Let me have that. Let me have that. All right, you got it there? I got it. Hey. Yep. <laughs> all right, let me come in on this side over here. Like this, yep. Father and son. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, everybody. This is us on Armadillo Outlaw here. We made her. We made her again. <laughs> we got, uh, this is my senior elk trip, and uh, we got Dennis behind the camera, and he has been wonderfully kind to let us come down and stay with him, and he, he called this elk in, so what you heard was him cow calling, and uh, so it, we, but we're going to go, and we're going to um, get the horses. Get the horses. Gonna we're going to try out. to pack this thing out, and yeah. You gotta gut him first. You gotta gut him first. Yeah. But yeah. Um, we do want to. Um, uh, uh, most of our thanks is gonna go to the good Lord because He has blessed right. us with this. And uh, so without Him, this probably wouldn't even be possible. So wouldn't um, be possible. We uh, we sure sure appreciate it to Dennis and the good Lord for sure. And I'm glad I had Dad run the camera. I don't know. Don't know if we got. We don't know if we got much on, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, this is a this is a four before. Um, and so. They got to have a uh, six inch brow tine or they have to have four points. And he has both of those. So, and, but this bull came screaming in out of this holler here. And we heard him, he bugled like three times. And every time he was like really close. Within, I would say, Dennis, how long did it take him to get there? Maybe a minute. Maybe a minute. I mean, he come no 200 yards in a minute. And I mean, he was he was bugling, screaming the whole way, and I could hear him in his chest. And he picked me out, and I just put it right between those two logs and shot. So there he is. These are just such <laughs> beautiful <laughs> animals. So yeah, we we're so th we're just so <laughs> I mean, we're so blessed. So we just thank the good Lord so much, and thank Dennis. And so we got to get on the phone and call a bunch of people now if we ever get out here to get signal. Right. But um, anyway, so. See him? Oh, now I'll let you look at that. Yes. We got one. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we did. The five pointer? No, it wasn't a big no. one. But it was a it was a four before. Awesome. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Way this, cool. Yeah. We I don't know other than the good Lord bless us, that's all I know. That's right. If you, if wow. You, you, you said will, your prayers right last night. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> all day. Alright, here we are. It'll be been twenty years since I've been on a horse. Hey. Get up there a little bit. There you go. How do you get going, oh, you just kind of get them going. Oh, oh. There you go. Hey, look at here. Look at here. Oh, there's the old chap himself right there, the old elk slayer. Go over there. First time he's ever been on a horse. First time on a horse, people. This ought to turn out something. Things.
He's kind of, oh, he's raising his tail. That's not a good sign. Boy, mine's starting to snort. He's going to get an error here in a minute. <laughs> I'm glad you got the black one. Here, don't bite my foot, man. First time on a horse. First time for everything. Hey, whoa, whoa. Ooh, ooh. Man, there, until we get done. You're getting all antsy. Fidgety. Quit fidgeting. Last thing I need to be, I ain't got enough wind to have it knocked out of me up here. You hear me, Blackie? Oh, Blackie there. I couldn't imagine riding one of these things in the mountains. This is really different. Huh? This is really different. Yeah, it's pretty good, ain't it? Don't it feel good? Uh -huh. To be on a horse, you know, riding in the mountains, packing an elk out. My bad knee would like to be. What do you say about old knee? Neen, we know you're out there. This is a lot of fun. Got him. First time riding a horse. Sorry I didn't come take lessons. Off of that camera, all right. Oh. oh, that feels good to get off that for a second. <laughs> she rode a whole half a mile. <laughs> Just think of us at a field trial for oh, I know three it. hours yeah. and some at a well, You didn't buck me off, pal, and I appreciate it. Oh, there'll be fine. Here, we'll walk right there. Right here. Right over there. Come so, you just throw your range over the top, Bonnie? Got to keep them up so that you don't step on them. Move over here. That all right, Bonnie? Yeah. Uh, no, turn his head around there. Turn his head. Hold her up there, you go. That's a boy. Oh, feels about like me holding that bow back for. Okay, you want to take him up there in the shade, no, Dennis? He's fine right here. Okay. All right, Tom, yeah, you're going to kill him so he died in the shade. So you're going to help he Dennis. The we him. I'm going to get it in the mic there. Yeah. All right, through the heart. Dead eye. That's how you kill him. Pay attention to it, Denny. Not yet. Usually about the time his head comes around and meets the meets the yeah, meat when, when, when they when they turn around and give it a good smell, that's right here. No, not on him. My horse will do it. JR? Huh? With the hindquarters of that elk on his horse. Yep, we got it. We got it. We got the horse, the elk. Everything that we've held on That's it. You're going to bite, piggy bite there. That's all right. That's a little bit to eat. All right, Bonnie. Steer him down this way now. Come on, son. Get 
Just hold them reins now. Turn them. Turn them this way. There you go. Now give them a little heel. Now this is Tob's first time riding a horse, and I put a half elk on with him. Yeah, it's fine. Come on, pal. Ooh, 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 easy, easy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Slow her down, pal. Slow her down. Okay. I know it. I can't believe I got that arrow. Well, Lord help me, but. Shit, wire, barbed wire, Bonnie. How far have you packed one on horseback for, Bonnie? <laughs> Too far? Get over here. There's a buffalo. <laughs> That's a mighty good horse. Both those horses are only barely four years old. That one's not even four yet. He's still three. All righty, guys. We are back here in the truck. We got the elk. We took it to a, uh, a processor, processor and Easy. and they was wonderfully nice to let us uh, take our, our uh, head and horns because we're going to get it mounted, I think. And uh, we're gonna, they let us freeze it in their freezing room. So that was Ooh. wonderful because it is so hot out here. And anyways, so just to recap what happened we finally got it in an elk thank the good lord and we come out here to town and deliver our elk to the press sir. Sir. Look picture of me over here yeah, yeah. we both look no, pretty picture. both look, look pretty hey, get a good picture of me. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> we both look pretty shabby because uh, we have a shaved in <laughs> over a week so every video you can see don't don't be making fun pretty awesome elk hunt um we we we, we just sat down and we've been sitting there we kneeled down for like 30 minutes 
and all of a sudden Dennis Dennis our uh, hell company basically our guide he's the guy that been that has been letting us stay with him in his primitive cabin uh, he was calling and then um, dad was behind me filming and uh, he didn't know how much he got on film because of just the fact of he the elk was steering us down and I don't know other than it was just the good Lord that I I held back for a minute it was a solid 45 seconds to a minute and I mean I was starting to grab on my chin trying to let all the weight off of off as much weight as I could off my arms and off my shoulders but it was it was really stressful dad said he was more nervous than I was but I'm telling you he wasn't pretty happy he got an elk so everybody back at home big shout out to you all because you've been congratulating me and everything I sure appreciate it um, but uh, thanks to all the family that has helped us out um, big shout out to yard works for letting us use their truck Bobby and Lucinda and uh, uh, Westy and all them we sure do appreciate you guys because it's been a lot more a lot more challenging to find a, uh, what we needed we just appreciate the good Lord allowing us to have happened what happened because it was awesome I mean he came in from 200 yards to to right 15 yards is when I shot him is where he was at and he came in and I think it was like a minute and a half two minutes he I mean he came in just like that and he was whistling and bugling and it was so pretty um, so it was an awesome hunt I mean an awesome hunt